Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to, why do, every time, every time, welcome back to my channel, touch fringe, welcome back to my channel, sit on hands, welcome back to my channel, welcome to this week's video. I am aware that I look rough as a badge as what's it, and that is because I am rough as a badge as what's it, I feel so rough. I have had a stinking cold knife for over a week, I'm having trouble with my legs again, things are generally terrible around here. One of you guys, one of you guys made a comment on the video from earlier this week saying something along the lines of I envy your calm and positive attitude and I read it out to Natalie and she nearly died of hysterics because I am not calm, I am not positive. I am two two millimetres from the from the brink, from from yeah. I am not calm or positive. I am I am drowning and struggling and and it's all everything's everything's terrible. However what isn't terrible is a pile of packages. So let me just show you this. Things have been so busy for a week now that I haven't opened any of my parcels. Despite the fact that I'm ordering things that I need and want. So there are things in here that are going to help with the organisation. There are things in here that I just wanted. There are things in here that I needed. And I don't even know what's in them. And there's a week's worth of parcels here. I've done two parcel open videos before when I've come back from holiday and there's been a week's worth of parcels and that's perfectly reasonable in it or two weeks worth. There's no reason I haven't opened these because I haven't had two spare moments to run together. I'm recording this now while the puppy is asleep in the next room. Any minute now there'll be a little jingle of her bell on her collar and she'll be up and ready to go again. This room, honestly, I'm going to turn the camera actually so you can see what I'm dealing with in here because the bit that you're looking at looks fine, doesn't it? Let's take you on a 360. Everything, everything is out of control. Everything is really, really, really bad. We have got to the point where the furniture that needs to be moved in my room is not, into my bedroom is now done. We are hiring a van for Monday to move the eBay out to the storage unit and to move Tammy's stuff in. Although this looks very, very bad, I've got a vague idea of what's where and what's happening. But it's a lot, and that's why I haven't opened any parcels. I've just been piling them up here. So let's open them together. Some of them are, are um, in very minimal packaging. For example, this one isn't going to take much opening. Literally, that's arrived like that. And um, it's my eBay mailing bags. <laughs> it's my eBay mailing bags. Every every month, if you have the shop subscription, I'm not sure if you get it with all shops, but with the level of shop that I get, you get a £10 voucher. And you can use that on eBay branded packaging goods, which is obviously nice for eBay because it means they get free advertising every time you post something. Apparently I can't work bags. So this month I ordered padded mailers because I didn't seem to have any. And I've ordered a larger size than I realised. I thought I'd ordered a smaller size than that. Ho-hum, tiddly-bum. Never mind. They're practically free. It cost me £1.37 for all of those because of the £10 voucher. Another one with very minimal packaging. Amazon are also apparently economising on their packaging. This is a sewing machine bag. Literally, there's the mailing label. It's come like that. There's the mailing label. Sewing machine bag. For my sewing machine, surprisingly enough. Uh, my sewing machine has previously lived in one of these Calac cube units. But because they won't be here, it has to live now on top of my wardrobe. And I thought it's going to need a dust bag. So I ordered this one off of Amazon. I anything I've ordered from Amazon, I will link below. As I've said to you guys before, I do get a tiny kickback if you order from one of my Amazon links. It's not 0 0.0001 pence or something like that. But I ordered this from there. And I think it was under, I think it was under 20 quid. It was definitely under 20 quid. And it's big enough for your sewing machine to go in. And then there's a side pocket here. Said she trying to undo it. Side pocket here for scissors and stuff like that. So I'm going to put my sewing machine into this and I'm going to also condense down my sewing box, get rid of my sewing box and put my tools in here and that'll be another one less thing to keep. The amount of stuff I've got rid of is crazy. Craziness. I don't even know where the bin is. That was wet from the rain yesterday. Literally I came home and it was just tucked away down one side of the door. Okay, what's this one? Oh, Lucy and Yak. I have never ordered from Lucy and Yak before. They are the current in, in brand. The little sticker on here says, Hi, I'm Martha. I parceled your Lucy and Yak. Isn't that nice? I presume all of their packets have a little sticker of their own. So I had a look. Somebody meant, I didn't realise they did plus size. Now, everybody's wearing Lucy and Yak dungarees. I will not be wearing dungarees. I have tried a dungaree. I look like a weeble. I look like a children's television presenter from the... 80s but a fat one. Do, do you know what I look like? Do you remember Hale and Pace? And they did 
a billion billion Tommy or something. I'll, I'll see if I find a picture. I look like that in dungarees. But these are cargo jeans. Cargo jeans. And they were half price or more than half or less than half price or however it works. More than half price, I can't remember how much they were. They were in the Lucian Yak sale. And I thought I would try them because on the basis that if they aren't any good. Oh they're not cargo jeans, I think they're ordinary jeans. Perhaps I think perhaps I lost my mind. Ordinary jeans. If they aren't any good, I'm sure I'll be able to resell Lucy and Yak plus size jeans. So I ordered a size, some, 28. 28 regular in organic denim washed black. It says, oh look, you can you can recycle your, your, your Lucy and Yaks as well. So I'll try those on in a bit. And when I try them on, we'll have a look and see how they, how they fit, if they fit. And I'll pop a bit of footage in now. Okay, next one, another Amazon box. Had a whole the moment there. I didn't think I'd trust report record. Another Amazon box. I don't know what this is. I don't know what I don't know who I am. I don't know what I'm doing here. Right, I have muscled my way in. What are you? Still no wiser. Oh, it's a kitchen storage thing. It hangs under your kitchen cabinet. Hang on. Insert picture here. There we go, it hangs under your kitchen cabinet and it's just a little um, shelving rack and I'm hoping to get rid of some of the clutter that's on the worktops in the kitchen because that's um, something else that is currently the bane of my life is the amount of stuff that's just on the worktop. So I thought I'd try one of these out. I think this one might have been a late night scrolling purchase. One of those nights when you're just scrolling through and it pops up on, I don't know, on TikTok or something. Oh, I'll have one of those and off you go and buy one. And the next day you're like, why haven't I got any money? This, this is why I haven't got any money. Do that one last because I'm looking forward to that one. So it'd be a nice little uh, pleasure, pleasurable bit at the end for me anyway. Okay, another Amazon one. I've also had to book a trip to the tip to get rid of all my cardboard that I've been hoarding all this time for boxes because I just don't need it. It's just out of hand. And and I've got to condense. I've got to, what's the word when you don't, I've got to downsize. Okay, we've gone, we're in, inside the box there is a bag. Oh, I know what these are. I finally got round, again, late night scrolling, I finally got round to ordering some tie back hooks for my bedroom. Although now, where my bed is, is going to make it very, very difficult to get to the wall and drill that in. They were very cheap. They were not very much money at all. Didn't think I'd ordered rose gold, but so be it. There we go. Apparently I did. Okay, another Amazon one. The Amazon delivery driver has been here pretty much constantly recently. Entirely possible that I'm trying to shop away my uh, my pain and distress. <laughs> okay, box in a box, box inception. Oh, I've forgotten I ordered these, and I'm really pleased they're here. These are Good Guys Bakehouse cheesy biscuits. They're only like four calories each, or something mental like that. They are crazy low in calories, and they are all over the diet groups that I'm in. Everybody's raving about them. Now I really like, I really like the cheese and pineapple soft cheese from Aldi and that's not too bad. These are five calories per biscuit. Five calories per biscuit and I've got a case, let's hope I like them because I've got a case of eight boxes. I think it was eight boxes for a tenner if I remember rightly. I shall try one now and my face will be, I've, I've, I've got a drink. So I'll try and dry crack. But it's okay, I've got a drink. They're very thin, they're like wafers. They're like ice cream wafers. Oh, they're very nice. Nice and cheesy. They are nice and cheesy, and there's a huge number of them in the box. Can you see how many there are? Because they're so thin. They have five calories each and there's a huge number in each box and I've got eight, eight boxes so you know lots of cheese and crackers for me. Mmm! Pleased with those. Very pleased with those. What's this one? Oh this is this is something I bought on Vintage to resell. It's a curling iron. Curling, curling, what? Curling, curling curler. Curling styler, hair styler, hair styler curler thing. Hair curling style of thing. You wouldn't get away with posting stuff like it just out like in a mailing bag on eBay, I tell you. People would complain. Right. 
which is one of these, look. I have sold one recently, and when I saw one on Vinted very cheap, I thought, well, that'd be an easy relist. So I paid six or seven pounds, I think, altogether for that. And I think there's another Vinted purchase here as well, which again, just literally replay everything I just said. It is something that I bought to resell. It is a higher hair appliance. And as I was searching for that one, I saw this one. I thought, oh, I know those so well. I'll grab that too. It is a pack of those heated bendy curlers, which I often pick up at car boot sales and they always sell well when I get them. And again, I think this cost me less than a fiver. Now surrounded by packaging. I'm nearly done. I'm nearly done. Hang on. What's this one? Another Amazon one. I've done so much buying recently. Ha. This is a electric light for the new unit, for the storage unit where the eBay is going to. So just in case you missed a couple of videos, you don't know what's going on. Tammy's moving in here and Tammy and I have rented a storage unit between us for some of her stuff and for my eBay stuff. But storage units do not come with electric light inside. There is, there's light in the building, but each unit doesn't have its own light, um, which apparently is to stop people moving in and living there. So I bought this, it is a magnetic, there's a big magnet on the end there. Or anything magnetic to, to stick it to? I don't think I have. It doesn't stick to the tripod, so the tripod must not be magnetic. But anyway, it's magnetic, but it's also, this bit moves around, it's on a ball joint, so where, whatever it's on, you'll be able to angle it to where you want it to be. And it has a hanging hook, although I don't know if there'll be anything to hang it to. Oh, and it's already charged up. Blind. Did not expect that. Wom, wom, look I am your father. <laughs> I shouldn't have looked into that bit. So yeah, little USB charger. So occasionally I'll have to bring it home from the unit to charge it up or take a power bank with me or whatever. But that is what that is for. It is so that when I'm searching for stock, when I'm picking orders, I will have a light by which to do it. So yay for that. I don't think that was very much money either. Like I said, that was Amazon, so I'll stick a link in below. I'll put links into everything that I can find. And if it's an Amazon link, then it's an affiliate link and I get some pennies. I just have to, literally, I have to keep telling you guys that. You have to be told. You're not allowed to not know. And uh, finally, the one I'm actually pleased about. The one that is supposed to be a treat and make me feel happy. Because that's how we get happy, you know, we buy stuff. I like my t-shirt, it came from Shein or somewhere like that and it says Thou shalt not try me, mood 24-7 Very fitting today Okay Two items from Simply Be from my catalogue I went on to buy this because I saw somebody wearing it in, a, in an advert So that was a good piece of advertising, Simply Be, well done And then while I was there I fell into the pyjama section And treated myself to this pair of pyjamas Is that the top? Yeah they're super soft, really, really nice soft material with kind of a, is that a star print? That's a, a kind of animal print stars of all, the, of all bizarre combos. They do not have an elasticated leg, which is good. I hate an elasticated leg because my legs are so swollen. If I have an elasticated cuff on a pyjama leg, it rides up in the light and then it gets stuck and can't ride back down and cuts off circulation. So no elasticated cuff. I'm going to cough. Sorry about that. Every now and again, the cough just catches in my throat. I'm still the tail end of it. And um, yeah, so that's what they are, new pyjamas, so new happy pyjamas for bedtime tonight. And then this is what I actually went on for, which is a huge fluffy AF cardigan. It's in black, which is always difficult to show people. It's got a hood, I didn't expect a hood. It's almost dressing gown material. Don't think it has a zip, I think it's edge to edge if I remember, remember rightly. But a big, cosy, fluffy, warm, Feeling sorry for you. This is what the things I think you buy when you've got a cold because I've had a stinking cold and I felt sorry for myself. Oh, big hood. Hi. Um, yeah. I felt sorry for myself, so I bought myself a big, fluffy, cozy, warm cardigan. I think it has a pocket. Does it? Do you have a pocket? Did I imagine your pockets? Maybe you don't have a pocket. Oh, it does have a pocket. Yeah, so it's got a slip down pocket rather than a side seam pocket. And yeah, right. Finally got around to opening. I'm now, I'm now literally sitting here under a sea of packaging. <laughs> I need to swim my way to the surface of this and I'm really glad that I managed to get this done before the puppy woke up. She's beautiful. She's an absolute gem. She's a lot of work. She's so much work. And timing wise, oh, it's been difficult. Thank you for joining me um, to open my post. I hope you've enjoyed it. 
I'll put the links in below as I said if there's anything you want to see. I can link this as well, I, you know, just, uh, uh, just, I'll link everything I can. I'll link, uh, if you want to see what I bought, I'll put the links in for you. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.